Aisha, welcome back to my channel. So today I have this full time makeup tutorial using all drugstore makeup. Yes, girl, all of this right here. It's affordable and perfect if you're on a budget or you just, you know, want to know some good drugstore products. And all of the products I'm using today are some of my current drugstore favorites. So, you know, it's a little bit all in one video. So if you're interested in today's video, then keep on watching. So recently I've really been liking to have like a super hydrated like makeup underneath my foundation. I feel like my makeup looks just 10 times better. So I'm using my e.l.f. Holy Hydration Hydro Gel Moisturizer. This does have hyaluronic acid and also peptides, so I'm just gonna apply about that much. And this is perfect if you have oily skin, so I'm just gonna prep my skin. And if you guys do not apply moisturizer before foundation, I highly recommend you do. You will notice your makeup is just gonna look a lot better and a lot more like fresher. Today I'm using the new ColourPop, it's a mood palette. I've been using this palette like three times and I've really, really been loving it. So I wanted to share with you guys some really good, you know, drugstore makeup in today's video in case you're looking for new products or just want to know you know of good drugs or products so this is what the palette looks like right here it's such a beautiful fall palette and girl i don't know about you but i am ready for all the fall makeup tutorials so comment below and let me know what other fall makeup tutorials that you would like to see here on my channel i've really been liking this brush from rare beauty it's supposed to be like their concealer brush but i feel like it blends out the makeup super quickly so yeah i'm just gonna use a lighter base and by the way, this is the Hard Candy Concealer in the color Light Medium. Today I'm going to be using a bunch of my favorite brushes as well. So I've really been liking the Morphe X Maker by Ario brushes. They're really, really good. They are like higher quality. I like this one's better than any of my other Morphe, you know, brushes that I have. So yeah, I'm going to be using this one right here in the name A29. So just like a little packing brush like that. And the first color out of the palette I'm going to use is this color here here so this is called it's a rush and it's a beautiful like rustic color i feel like this you know makeup look that i'm doing is gonna scream fall and that's what i want it to do so i'm gonna apply this here on the crease just in packing motions so i get the most pigmentation out of this palette blend this out i'm gonna grab my elf tapered blending brush so it looks something like this and i'm using this color called crave you and just know this palette does have a little bit of fallout so you want to make sure you tap your brush and i'm just gonna use this color right on top of the first shade we use and i'm just gonna blend it in circular motions <laughs> So I'm using a little pencil brush like this and I'm gonna use one of my favorite colors out of this palette. Yeah, because I like this palette because you get blues in the olives. Maybe I can do like an olive or like a blue um, tutorial. It has purples too, but you guys know how I feel about purple. Me and purple just do not like each other. So I'm gonna be using this color right here called Fascination and it's a really nice intense burgundy color. So I'm gonna be using that here in the inner corner and outer corner. I wanna create a halo eye effect. I feel like halo eye are super underrated and they're super easy and they make you look like that girl, I'm telling you. So I'm using that here on the inner and then here on the outer corner as well i'm always doing date night makeup tutorials without even trying and i don't even go on a date night um so but you know for my future date night I'm just basically packing it in and then I'm using that same tapered blending brush and I'm just blending it super lightly. I kind of want to create, you know, like a sexy, smoky look. So for the um, middle of the eye, I feel like this is going to transform the whole look. So this is such a beautiful shade. It has some shimmer, but it's not like a glitter. It's really, really pretty. So I'm using my MAC 242 brush. I'm using the color called Full Circle. So I'm making sure my brush is really like saturated and i'm just gonna spray it with a little bit of spray okay and then you guys will see how this is gonna transform the whole look yeah it's such like a beautiful i don't even know how to explain this color it's just a beautiful fall color this is like fall in my eyes i hope my camera is catching all the like shimmer it has just naturally it's such a pretty color i feel like this whole palette is worth it 
just because of that one shade it's really really pretty so i'm gonna take one of my favorite black liners and it's from la girl la girl has such amazing products so this is called the shockwave neon eyeliner in the color black but i'm just gonna grab a little bit of liner and i just want to put it like here as close as i can to my lash line and I like doing this just to add a little bit more like drama. And then I'm taking this little packing brush from the Morphe collaboration again. And I'm just using just a tiny bit more of that burgundy color. I feel like this palette is missing like a really intense black. I feel like a black would have fit really good into this palette. But yeah, I'm just using that just to smoke this out. So I'm going to be using my Essence Lash Princess Mascara. This is one of my favorite mascaras at the drugstore. And I always just keep buying it. It's just really, really good. This is what the brush looks like. I personally like it because it really makes my lower lashes look really like intense and just like dramatic. And I feel like it's perfect for, you know, this look. So I'm just going to apply one layer of mascara. And I think for lashes today, I'm going to be using this ones from Tati Lashes. So they sent me a bunch of lashes, which I'm so grateful for. So I think I'm going to use the Style TL3. I do have a discount code with them. I think it's Taisha15 or Taisha10. I'll have it listed below in case you guys want to save yourself some money. And this lashes, I feel like a lot of makeup artists use them. So I'm super excited to see how they look like on the eye. Because if makeup artists use them, you know it's a good product. Just like that, lashes are on. I think these lashes are going to become one of my favorite ones because they're wispy and they just look perfect for this look. So I'm going to use my high, my my Heart Candy Sheer MB Hydrating Primer. It's a 12-hour makeup grip. I just feel like it makes your makeup look less cakey and it just makes it look more hydrated and just more prettier in person because on camera everything's gonna look good but in person you know you want to make sure it looks like you know pretty so for foundation today i'm using my maybelline super stay stay active foundation i'm in the shade sun beige and for all my foundation twins out there this color matches me really really nicely and i also like how it has a pump now let me ask you something do you like this one or the original one because i know some people like the og and then people like me like this one better because the original one was just like weird and it made me look gray and it was like too heavy this one is like the perfect amount of like full coverage but it still doesn't feel heavy on the skin one thing i do have to tell you and i am warning you right now is that this foundation is extremely long wearing like waterproof so if you have something to do this is the foundation for you okay so it's very long wearing it looks good all day long and it's also very like full coverage which is why i like it and then i'm blending it out with my shop miss a beauty sponge just over here let me get it it's right here so i'm using this sponge to blend everything out okay i was trying to look cute for you guys but i'm gonna have to remove my hoop earrings and wear them later by the way these ones are from target they're very lightweight which i like because if not i feel like my ears are gonna fall apart for concealer i feel like you all know i really like the elf cosmetics hydrating camel concealer in the color medium beige it's one of my favorite ones it's amazing it's full coverage well it gives you medium to full coverage but it just feels really nice underneath the eyes Especially when you're wearing like such heavy foundation, you want to balance out the other products you wear. So I'm just putting some underneath my eyes, also the bridge of my nose, and just a little bit here on my forehead just to brighten up my face. Another concealer that I really like that I might as well talk about it in today's video is this one from Catrice. It's new. I tried it out like two months ago whenever I did my like drugstore testing out new drugstore makeup. So I really liked it. It's in the color Neutral Biscuit. It's called the High Cover Concealer. So I'm just going to add just a little bit right here. And it's like a really nice neutral shade. It's, I really like the undertones of both of these concealers. And I really like the applicator on this one. It's like that. So it really gets in there. For cream bronzer... 
this one right here you all know the putty bronzer from elf in the shade golden days it's also one of my favorite ones it has like a really um really pretty color like a nice warm undertone and i feel like for today it's fall time we can look orange okay if i want to look orange this is the season for me to look orange and yellow I'm just kidding guys but yeah i'm using a little bit well not a little bit i'm using quite a lot of this bronzer it has a really nice soft matte finish so i'm just adding this in the areas i want to bronze my skin with i like to use a lot here on my forehead i like the look of that Girl, look at this how pretty and flawless everything looks i'm telling you drugstore makeup has definitely stepped up their game and it's honestly not necessary to go and spend a lot of money you can look cute on a budget a thousand percent so i'm gonna use my wet n wild photo focus powder i like the color banana but i also have translucent and they both work amazing they're beautiful um so this honestly looks like a higher end setting powder so i like to use this shade because i really like that bright under eye but like that bright yellow under light uh, under eye and this powder is very very thin so you can use a little bit more than other powders but i still like to use a little bit at a time so i like to press it into the skin and you guys will see how it makes it look super matte this is also flash um flashback friendly so it doesn't give you any flashback at all and then i apply whatever's left on the sponge i apply it on my forehead a little bit on my brows I have a pimple right here, right in top of my beauty mark, and it hurts. On this area of my skin, I have been like, just it's just not doing good, this area of my skin. I have a lot of texture, so nothing looks good, to be honest, but that's just like the reality, you know, wearing makeup with real skin. So I'm using a little bit of my LA Girl Pro Face Powder. And this is in the shade Nude Beige, and this is kind of gonna act like a smoothing, you know, filter gonna make it look a little bit more smoother and it's gonna add a little bit more coverage but yeah everything that i apply may look a little bit splotchy in those areas but it's because my texture has been acting up a little bit more recently i think it's because i'm gonna get my period soon so i'm breaking out i don't know but yeah i'm using that to set the rest of my skin and i'm gonna take a little bit more powder and I'm gonna use it right here on the bridge of my nose. So when I contour my nose, it looks a little bit more like, you know, defined. For a bronzer today, this one from Juvia's Place has been one of my favorite ones. So this is in the shade Medium. It's from their, their Bronze Medium Palette. So this is what they look like. You get two matte shades. I like how they give you a really nice undertone. Just mixing both shades and I'm just gonna contour my face. I'm using this brush from Beaky Beauty, the 104. Really, really soft brushes. So I'm just using that and I'm just mixing it in. So I'm going back and forth, tapping X's. And it gives you such a beautiful like bronze color but it doesn't make you look super orange like it's just a nice warm tone shade so this if you don't have it in your collection i highly recommend it and i like how they don't give you shimmers like i don't use shimmer so i appreciate you know when i just have an all matte palette and i'm also going to make sure i bronze up the double chin i use bronzer as contour as well Contour is a little bit more neutral tone and then bronzer is a little bit more warm tone. That's like the difference, I think. So yeah, I like to just use bronzer for everything. So we're almost done with our makeup. I am going to finish up the lower lash line. So I'm using this Morphe liner in the shade of Vibes. It's a really nice warm tone color. kind of matches my shirt like perfectly. So I'm going to be using that for my waterline. And to blend everything out, I'm using the shade Crave You and it's a rush. So the same shades I use for the top, I'm also going to use them here just to blend out and kind of make it more smoky. 
inner corners i'm using that same shade we use here but i'm gonna mix it with a little bit of love song just so it becomes a little bit lighter and not so like harsh and this is gonna create like a beautiful golden you know rustic color and i always like to bring it going upwards so i'm done with the eyes let me contour my nose before i forget sometimes i'd be forgetting and then i'm like why does my face look weird so i like to use this this is like my favorite products ever the japanese brush it's called the all over eyeshadow brush with the milani silky matte bronzer in the shade 03 i've been using this for like two years i think i've been using it for a long time so i like to blend everything towards like the brows and then i go in with my beauty sponge once again just to make sure everything looks blended and then i'm also just gonna do like finishing touches before i do my lips so i'm just gonna apply a little bit of blush this one is my favorite one especially for the fall time it's called white peach by elf it's the bite size blush so i'm gonna be using just a little bit of this i usually like to go in with the makeup white ariel um blush brush but i have no idea how where it's at right now so i'm just gonna use this one and this is such like a pretty peachy color I feel like it's gonna complement this makeup look look you see and i like how it doesn't make my cheeks dark because i also really like the murillo twins x beauty creations blush palette but that one sometimes it makes my cheeks look really dark i think it's because the pink is like not made for my skin tone like medium skin so yeah if you guys have any good recommendations for a good drugstore like pink blush color let me know so i can pick it up next time you know i go to walmart and then the last like finishing touch i like to do is i really like this bebella cosmetics snatch and sculpt color palette i mostly like it because of this color so it's like a really nice brightening color so i like to use a little bit you see how it's like a nice yellow shade now this i dropped it and now it looks like that but yeah i like to use the lighter color and then especially here around my forehead just to brighten it up and you see it just gives you like a really nice flawless under eye all right so now for the lips i'm using milani in the shade saucy toffee liquid lipstick today i think i'm gonna use two of them i want something a little bit less nude well nude but not that nude so i'm taking my bh cosmetics x alondra and lc liquid lipstick in the shade caramel and it's like a really pretty like caramel shade it's really pretty and just to add a little bit of like dimension i'm gonna use one of my favorite liquid lipsticks ever this is the maybelline driver before this was like the only color i would wear and now you know i like to mix it in it just reminds me of like fall i don't know why maybe i used it a lot in the fall time and then i like to blend it in with my finger So this is the final look for today i decided to just leave my lips matte because i haven't done like a matte lip and in my hair fall and winter is like the time to do matte so um by the way for my body glow i hope you guys can see it this is the tom for soleil blanc i think that's how you say it i used to say blank but you guys know me already so this is the body shimmer for today i really like this and this has lasted me like the whole summertime and it's only the travel size one so i do recommend you guys pick it up and it's like 34 dollars compared to the full size and then for fragrance today i'm using the love don't be shy by killian this is such an amazing sweet scent i feel like it reminds me a lot of fall time it's not super like light like in summary i feel like it's a good sweet scent for the fall time like it's a little bit more mature you may hate this or you may love it depending you know what you like but i personally love sweet scent so you know i really like it so yeah guys i'm gonna go ahead and go i really hope you guys enjoy this makeup look and if you guys recreate it please tag me on instagram and if you've been wondering if you need this colourpop palette i think this is your sign that you should pick it up this fall time i just think it's such a beautiful like palette overall and overall these whole products are amazing so i'll have everything listed below thank you so much for watching have a beautiful blessed day and i'll see you guys on the next one Okay.